Hey, what's up and welcome everyone to another Warzone Academy video. In today's video, we've got something special for you where once again, we're playing with Zeus and Jenks, two incredibly successful YouTubers. But unlike yesterday's video, where you're fragging out like no one's business, today it's scuffed. We're having so much trouble trying to get to that end game, but we end up pulling it off. But we got to play a little slower. We got to throttle back, play a little more tactically and understand when it's not time to full send. And anyway, that's tough for me because full send is content as many kills that's content keeps my adrenaline pumping it's fun but i like winning more than anything so we're going to talk about that today now i really like the new format i've been doing with my videos where i let some gameplay roll i talk about critical moments but that way you don't have to listen to me talk the entire time you can hear our squad comms back and forth i think it's the perfect balance between entertaining gameplay but also getting value out of each and every video if you agree with that and you like that style of video make sure to let me know down in the comments i want to make the best content for you but without further ado, let's get into today's video. Oh, I see what you mean. He's in my building. I brought, I broke his armor. I'm down to the pissy baby. Goodbye, time. Is there Bindy, on you, buddy. I did my best. I literally sent with the helicopter Good and I back. couldn't make it. Bro, I held my, I tried my best, dude. He must have got the res egg because I'm still missing a kill. Because I did knock one. It's okay. I win my gulags. I win these. Yep. On me. Oh shit. I haven't found an armor place properly yet. Oh, I hate this shotgun. I got your cut off. Last guy on me. I think. Contact. I'm coming down right now. No. Now, unfortunately, in this scenario, I got that ping a little bit too late, and I ended up in a 50-50 gunfight with no cover out in the open. He had good movement on his part. He ended up using a jump to really push his momentum and kind of swing out of my aim. And, you know, people have mentioned that in the past. They notice I jump a lot, and they think that's like a nervous habit. It all depends on the situation, but oftentimes I'm using it because I'll be running, let's say, left to right, and then I'll jump, and then I'll snap towards the target, and I'll use that jump to kind of bunny hop and continue that horizontal momentum. Whereas if I were to stop and strafe, I'm moving this far. But if I can bunny hop, I'm covering more ground. It's not always the right play and it can affect your aim, but if you're comfortable with it, oftentimes I find it allows me to continue lateral movement while aiming towards an opponent. We're gonna have an entire advanced movement video coming your way in the future, including things like the slide cancel or the infinite tactical sprint. So keep an eye out for that video in the future. He's sitting here teabagging me. Are we all kamikaze? They're all teabagging me. Oh my god, we killed back up my janks. I got one shot by a fucking shotgun. Did he even ADS or is this just hit fire one shot? I don't know. My kill cam is him punching me to death with them all teabagging on me. So for those of you who don't know, I've been working full time as I've been doing these daily Warzone Academy videos. And these Academy videos take a long time to craft, especially the ones where I pull out the diagram for the top down view. And that's all fine, it's worth the grind, but I can't stream on top of it. Fortunately, I've got the next like four or five days off. So we're going to get daily Warzone Academy uploads on top of streams. So if you found any value in any of my Warzone Academy videos and you want to say hey, you want to say thank you, or you just want to see some cool live gameplay, drop a follow to my Twitch channel. I've got links in the top of the description. I've got links in the pinned comment. I really want to see... You know, an amazing first stream back and say hi to so many people from the Warzone Academy. I'm trying to keep up with all the comments. I'm trying to keep up with all the DMs. But I want to say hey in Twitch and thank you all personally. But I won't. <laughs> nice. This That's one of the dudes that team that team bagged me. That's one of them. Not on that. It's two different teams fighting. Yeah. Oh, that's fire. Toxic. I love it. Okay, I'm a fight. I love it.
You're incredibly good at this game. Simply better, that's it. That's all there is to it. Okay, how many shots does it take? Jesus Christ. Now where's the third one, huh? That's right. <laughs> oh, there's a loadout drop over here. Don't even buy one. Yeah, perfect. Careful, they spawn loadout drops between two squads. So we get some kills while we are out there. Ha! <laughs> yeah. Sick, dude. I can't wait to get shot in the back. <laughs> Famous last words. I know, I feel the same way. Hmm. Oh! And I bought the wrong loadout. Oh my Where god, there's that? literally three snipers over there. I'm safe, Jenks. They don't have an angle on me. They don't have an angle on me. Thought that was smoke. I'm shot! I'm invisible. There's literally three people ADSing it. All have snipers. I shouldn't have crawled, I was safer I was. They have thermal snipers here, I can see I'm just like pre-aiming the fuck out of that. Fuck, they're gonna... At least I knew I was gonna get shot in the back. Do I risk it and go for it, Jenks? There is a truck vulnerable. behind you that you can park in front of it. What? How did that hit me? They have thermals, bro. Don't question it. Alright, wish me luck. Sniped another one? Oh my god, it glitched. You got no armor, Jenks? Zone's moving in, Jenks. Let's rotate left. Now, long story short, to save you guys all the time, we ended up doing a pinwheel rotation where we rotated around the outside of the storm. While we normally like to play a little more aggressive and full send, we decided we did not want to make a straight shot towards the zone with those three snipers standing there. So we did a rotation around the outside of the storm, and we'll pick up where we rotate in finally. Fuck, this is, is going to be nasty. Actually, a little rat trying to shoot me out of the sky. Bro, just oh, yeah, take us right, right into zone. We'll just pick a building. We'll play some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just trying to be be careful about the, the rooftops, man, around here. Just keep going, brother. Now, this is kind of a little tip, but a lot of people do the opposite of it. Typically, when you're getting shot with a vehicle, sometimes the right play is to turn away. But whenever you're in an urban environment, oftentimes it's best to turn towards where you're getting shot from because that's going to close the angle of obstruction quicker. So you notice there I made a sharp right hand turn which allowed me to get into cover quicker rather than instantly panicking and thinking I need to make the most distance from that target as possible. Right here. Thirstable? This window. I have No, I could not thirstable. Kill them in that building though. I'm trying to get loot. Why are you fucking sitting in a corner with a shotgun in the middle of fucking game nowhere? So bad, dude. This I game. Can't... I don't even have a gun yet, bro. So ridiculous, dude. I can hear people all around us. Like, you have to play like this. You just have to, otherwise you just get shit on. It's like we're playing Apex Scrims. There's a loadout drop now there, too. Hopefully you guys can kill him, bro. He's probably got money, bro. Push forward one building, Jenks. <clears throat> yeah, you see that red dot? Hopefully that's that, that little rat. We are seeing in a window with an overkill sniper. You guys can kill him and get money. Be dope. That would be dope. Careful, Jenks. It's, it's late game, dude. People are gonna be everywhere. Building right in front of me. Building right in front of me. Marking new safe zone. Right here. Enemy movement. Headshot. Downed. Yeah. Nading. This window. Oh. I'm safe. The rest. He's just on the rev. In the corner down. Bathroom on the left. I'm out, Jenks. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. 
Now, you'll notice here, despite Jenks and I's gun skill and our confidence and our play together, we're not going to force a fight into a 3v2 inside of a building. It's just not worth it. We're both low on armor. I've got a guide coming out soon about how to clear out buildings, and one of the number one tips is going to be don't. Avoid fighting in buildings if you absolutely can, especially like us. We're down a player and we're down on armor. Play it smart. We can win with our brain, not with our brawn. Right here, this window. So sit here, sit here with me. Sit here with me. Watch that window. He keeps peeking it. Watch that window. Yeah, 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 I am. If he peeks it, we can, we can, we can knock him and we can get the third song. One lower left. I think I think someone's crouch washing to our. Now, the last thing that I'm going to leave you with, and I'm going to let the rest play out, is you have to delegate in these situations. You have to be delegating who's holding what angle, because if one person gets tunnel vision, you're both tunnel vision on one angle, that's when people sneak up behind you. So delegate with your team who's watching what. The more players, the better. But Jenks and I divide it up between the two of us, and it pays off. By stairs, 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 stairs. Cover stairs, cover stairs. Cover, cover. yep, yeah, nice. Another one? Another one. Jenks, I'm dropping armor. I'm gonna flashbang it so you can fight while I pop armor. That was a smoke. Oh, it was a smoke, I'm an idiot. Can someone use this? Heart beating. Big fight going on in the building. You might be out of third next to you guys. Got nice, one. Nice, huge, huge, huge. We gotta split up who's watching stairs. I got stairs now. Or you got stairs, you got stairs. Checking heartbeat. Heartbeat's clear. The Elgo goes. This, uh, four people. Bro. This window where I just knocked the guy right here. He's peeking it slowly. Move. There's got rev in there. Gas is moving in. You Bro, we're safe. We're actually safe. We are center of zone. Finish the mission. Guard, guard stairs and we win. Guard stairs and we win. You you you're watching this, right? Yep. The front door. You got all that, okay? I'm watching stairs. I think they're all in there, to be honest. Four targets are still out there. Three left. Are we two under your building and then two? Do you want to jump out this window with me? Not yet, not yet, not yet. We play it super, super slow. We both have gas masks. We both have full gas masks. What I like to hear. They're directly underneath us. Okay, I'm going to swing out this one. And then you swing out late. You're the last to jump. You're the last to jump. Fried one. Got one. I'm taking the angle. I'm staying above. Okay. I think he crawled in. My knock is thirsted. Yeah, but last one's front door. You just got a kill. What did you get a kill with Jank? So explosive. Last one's front door. You have a claymore down or something. Fried him. Got him. Probably not down yet. Oh man, oh, that was it. a wild little ending, dude. Fucking wanted to win that game so bad. Right? Well played. It's kind of good that you guys end up pushing that team and disengaging to like dead center zone by chance. <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah, exactly. We're tired of, tired of, like, that's the thing, like, games like that. If you play super aggressive, like, you're just, it's a suicide. Like, you have to play like that, which is cool. But it's kind of stale sometimes. But that was like intense and fun. It's weird, man. I get both. It's like some games are some games are 40 bombs. Like that one game we almost dropped 40, and then some are just like resident sleeper trying to, you know, like we just did, sweat it out. So tough to clear out buildings. Yeah, trying to stay alive. Like that's so good.